Hello, my dear friends. I welcome you all to my daily dose. So I am myself, Dr. Rajesh Guba. I am a cardiologist, and I am also the mentor for teaching general medicine for exams like NEET, PG, AIMS, PGI, and as well as JIPMA. So as a part of today's daily dose, here is the question. So which drug is suitable for epilepsy related to brain tumor? The options are levetiracetam, phenytoin, carbamazepine, and phenobarbital. Now, so this individual is having brain tumor. So he might be on the chemotherapy or he might be on the radiotherapy. Now, you need to select that particular group of drugs which will not increase the metabolism of these particular chemotherapeutic drugs. That means what majority of your chemotherapeutic drugs, they are being metabolized by your hepatic enzymes. Right? They are being metabolized by your hepatic enzymes. So, you need to select that particular anti-epileptic drug which will not induce your hepatic enzymes. Like for example, levetiracetam is the drug which will not induce the hepatic enzyme. Like you see, in epilepsy caused by brain tumor, agents of choice are those that do not induce the hepatic microsomal enzyme system. Now, what are those drugs? They include levetiracetam, topiramate, lamotrigine, valproic acid, and as well as lacosamide. So these drugs, they will not induce the hepatic microsomal enzyme system and they will not induce or they will not increase the metabolism of your chemotherapeutic drugs. Like for example, you take the other drugs like phenytoin and as well as carbamazepine. Phenytoin and carbamazepine, these are potent enzyme inducers. So if they are potent enzyme inducers, they will increase the metabolism of these particular chemotherapeutic agents and they will excrete that particular drugs. So that is the reason why you need to give that particular group of drugs which will not induce the hepatic microsomal enzyme system. So going back to the question, in this question the answer here is the levetiracetam, right? Next. Next question if you see here, yes. This is another very important question related to your valproic acid. What is the gender specific side effect of, effect of valproate? Alopecia, weight loss, PCOD, tremors. Let me tell you, valproate is the drug of choice in multiple types of epilepsies. Why? Because valproate has a broad mechanism of action. Right? It will inhibit many channels and thereby it is considered as the drug of choice in multiple types of epilepsies. Like for example, this is a drug of choice in patients with GTCs. It is also the drug of choice in patients with status epilepticus. It is also the, I am sorry, not status epilepticus. It is also the drug of choice in patients with absent seizures. Right? And it is also the drug of choice in patients with atonic seizures or atonic epilepsy. And it is also the drug of choice in case of myoclonic epilepsy. Right? So these are all the multiple conditions where valproate can be considered as the drug of choice. The gender specific side effect of valproate is polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease and as well as the menstrual irregularities. They are very commonly seen in females taking this valproic acid. But what is the most common side effect of your valproate? The most common side effect of your valproate is transient gastrointestinal tract side effects. These are the most common side effects. And next, the CNS side effects that includes sedation, ataxia and as well as tremors. These are the CNS side effects of this valproic acid. And one of the rare complications of the valproic acid is the fulminant hepatitis. And not only that, this particular valproate, it is contraindicated in pregnancy. Right? It is contraindicated in pregnancy. Why? Because valproic acid, it is a teratogenic drug. Right? And what is the teratogenicity of your valproic acid is? It will cause spina bifida. Right? Which is called fetal valproate syndrome. So that is the reason why valproic acid is contraindicated in pregnancy. So going back to the question now, gender specific side effect of valproate is polycystic ovarian disease. So this is a short video on the valproate and as well as the other important drug like what we need to give in the brain tumors. So thank you very much for watching this particular video. Please follow us on the daily dose for the daily updates.